Hi, I'm Camilla. And I'm Kang, and we are the, the Five Resellers. And we finally went back out thrifting, and we finally went to the bins. I really miss the bins, but I kind of think the bins missed me. I'm so excited to show you what I picked up. I went by myself, Kang was at work, and I got about 34 items to resell. And so we're gonna show you everything that we got. We're gonna give you some information down on the screen here, just to help you in your sourcing as you're picking these things up. You know, thrift hauls are great, but without the real numbers, you know, it's hard to make those decisions. Mm -hmm. And hopefully in the future, we'll give you an update video of how these items have sold and kind of our thoughts on that. So stay tuned for that. We will film it, you know, about 90 days from when we actually list these items. Okay, so I picked up four pairs of shoes. The first is this pair of Saludos and they are a platform wedge. And the reason I picked these up is that they are in really good condition on the bottom. And I just recently picked up some Saludos. So I know that they, you know, should sell for about 25 or $30. So I was excited to find these. I think that they are just, you know, nice leather, all of that. And there weren't any new bins of shoes. Otherwise I probably would have picked up a lot more, but these were kind of the dregs of what was left in the bins, but I do like selling shoes. And since we hadn't been sourcing shoes that much, we actually have room in our shoe storage for more shoes. So I feel pretty good in picking them up. Next is a pair of Banana Republic. These are like desert boots or chukka boots. This style of men's shoe does really well for me. And I like to pick it up because, you know, it's kind of timeless. And especially in the fall and the winter, guys are often looking for these, especially, you know, in high quality brands, high quality construction and, you know, material. That's really good. Speaking of high quality construction and material, these are some Kohan driving loafers. I do like picking up men's Kohan shoes. I don't pick up all of them. A lot of them are kind of like outdated or they aren't in that good of shape. But these were, you know, pretty, stylish and in pretty good shape you know driving loafers are pretty much always in style i feel like probably guys are always wearing these so i'm excited to list these i think that they should sell for about 20 dollars. okay and then the last pair of shoes is this pair of dance go sandals and i actually found two other dance goes that day some dance go clogs but they were really kind of scuffed up and so i didn't pick those up but these were in really good condition on the bottom they do have you know some wear in the um on the sole there but that pretty much happens as soon as you put it on but um we'll see how those do now for the clothes so we'll start off with a really good yeah one. so we're gonna start off with a banger this is a johnny was top and it's this nice leopard print it's nicely embroidered so really excited to find this this is what this was early on when I got there and I was just so excited. I was so happy as I was driving there. I was thinking, you know, whenever we go to the bins, we always try to think like, oh, what do we want to find? You know, and we kind of name brands and things. And often like, we'll kind of say them back and forth to each other, but I was doing that on my own. I was just thinking and praying and I was thinking, you know, it would be so nice to find some Johnny Woods. And I was trying to remember like all the good brands that I want to find. And it was kind of hard to think of them. Like I hadn't been out in so long. So yeah, out of practice. Yeah, out of practice. So anyway, this is one that I definitely manifested. Okay, so next is a Pure Jill. So that's J Jill. And it's just a sweatshirt. It's kind of this waffle knit. And J Jill is one of our favorite bread and butter brands to pick up. And especially in the pure gel line that does better than just the regular J gel. It's usually nicer fabric. So I really like picking this brand up. It's a good mall brand. Um, so it won't sell for that much, but we have a pretty good sell through rate on J gel just in general. I counted and it was like a crazy number that we've actually sold of J gel items. So it's kind of crazy to think like we've been doing this for a couple of years and now we're getting into like 40 items sold in a certain brand of, you know, things like that. So mm -hmm. it just is like, well, we've sold a lot of items. So this is a Tommy Bahama shirt and I picked it up because it's 100% linen. And this day I was going out and you know how we have been listing through all of our death piles. So I was really trying to get to about 35 items so that I would have enough for a whole week. And so, that was another kind of motivation in picking up these things, even though some things like this might only sell for $15. I was also kind of thinking volume wise and with the limited amount of time that I have as a mom, being able to pick things up that can, that I know can sell, that I know, you know, kind of how to list and I'll be able to list pretty quickly. That was really important to me. 
So next we have this Saks Fifth Avenue pair of linen pants and I just thought that these were so beautiful. Saks Fifth Avenue, we sold a couple items that are just branded Saks Fifth Avenue, which it's a department store so often they have like other brands that they carry, but this one should do well. Linen is you know, really nice fabric and Saks Fifth Avenue has that, you know, name recognition. So I think that these should do pretty well. This was an item that was in my maybe pile that I added into my cart at the last minute because it is in such great condition and it's a pretty good size. It's a size 12P. It's a dress by Ann Taylor. And I thought it was just really nice and I don't have the best luck selling Ann Taylor, but I decided to pick this up because I just thought it was really nice. I thought it would be easy to photograph. Like this would show up really nicely in a photograph. So I've, I'm hoping that that will help it sell. And so we'll see how it does. Next I have a silk skirt by Talbots and it's very kind of 90s style, but I picked it up because it's 100% silk and I have pretty good luck selling Talbots items. I don't pick up all Talbots. I really try to focus on you know, high quality material. And this is definitely high quality material. And I feel like this looks like something I would see someone on TikTok doing like a get ready with me dress for the day, you know, and they would put the skirt on. So I figure that, you know, it's still kind of on trend. Here we have another Ann Taylor piece. And this one is new with tags, which is why I picked it up. And it's got this kind of sparkle jewels buttons that remind me of Christmas. I think that this would be a perfect, you know, kind of Christmas sweater or something for like a party or something like that. So I think that this should do well. I do like to pick up new with tags items because they are pretty easy to list and you know the value is just a little bit higher. And this day I found a good number of new with tags items and I even put a few back that just even with the tags weren't worth much but that's something I love about going to the bins is getting new with tags things because it just feels so bad to like send them back through the bins you know just knowing that they're going to be trashed and so it just feels so much better to be able to rescue them. So here I have a pair of Escada dress pants and Escada is a really nice brand. These are in a really nice you know material and so that was why I picked them up. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell them on my own or if I'm going to send them into the real real. Honestly we sent in some pants to the real real the last time we sent things in and they did terrible on there and I'm not sure that I would have had more luck myself but like it just is such a bummer when you only make three dollars commission on like something so I don't know what would you do let me know down in the comments if you would sell that yourself or if you would send it into the real real actually I don't even know if they take it I think that they do but yeah Anyway, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. So here's another new tags item. This is Nicole Miller, and this is a girl's dress. It's a size 14. And the reason I picked this up is I feel like I've seen a good number of people wearing this color pink, even in this um, material. And so I figure, you know, it's kind of coming back in style a little bit. People say like Barbie core. And I thought this would be so cute. It looks like something like you would wear to like an eighth grade dance or something like that. And so I just think this is so cute. You know, maybe even wear it for Christmas, you know, Christmas mass or something. I think this should do pretty well. Okay, so another Johnny Was piece. And I was really excited to find this one. This one I could see from the bins, like as they were rolling them out. And I thought, oh, I wonder if that's Johnny Was. And it was. So I was so excited. And this and one. And Johnny Was. And it Johnny Was. Exactly. This is a really good size. It's size 3X. So Johnny Was in bigger sizes does much better. Mostly because Johnny Was is one of like the Pioneer Woman's favorite brand. And so, you know, people who love the Pioneer Woman also love Johnny Was. So they definitely are looking for those items on like eBay and stuff. And so I'm really excited for this one. I can't wait to see how much it will go for. And it was just exciting to find like, you know, when you find the second Johnny Was piece while you're there, you're like, oh my gosh, it's like a day, you know, like it's not just like a one off. It's like, oh yeah, the bids are blessing me. Yeah. But wait, there's, there's more. more. So there's one more. This one is a bit of a bummer. And I did see this when I was there that it's in pretty rough shape. So it is a really good size and it's a nice fabric. I think it's either silk or Cooper rayon. The fabric tag has been cut out, but it has, you know, some stains on it. It's got a little hole at the neckline. So it's just not in very good shape, but I do think it will still do well. You know, I think you could even like cut these out 
and you know do something else with it or someone could repair it but we've sold Johnny was items in not the best condition so I think maybe we could do something with this but if not you know it's still you know not that much even if we just took a loss on it what's really cool is that there are three Johnny was pieces and all three of them have different tags so yeah interesting yeah I thought that was interesting too next we have an Athleta sweatshirt and Athleta is another bread and butter brand for us you know another mall brand but I do like selling it and I have pretty good luck selling it I don't think that I have very many Athleta items currently for sale so I've sold most of mine and I think this is really nice it's perfect for you know fall or spring and so we'll see how this does I would think it would get like 15 to 20 dollars for it you know, it's not like a super substantial piece. Some Athleta things do go for a lot of money depending on the material and recency of, you know, how recent it was for sale at Athleta. But I think this one is just kind of, a, you know, mid-level Athleta piece. So next is another bread and butter item for us. And those are Lucky Brand tops. And we tend to sell these for 10 to $15. I also picked this one up. I had kind of cooled on them a little bit, but I did pick this one up because it's a size large and I'm a size large right now and not a lot of my clothes are that size from pre-pregnancy. So I need some things to kind of bridge that gap for me. And so I love Lucky Brand tops and so I will be wearing this. So next is this table runner and I haven't decided if I'm going to sell it or not. It is this awesome like fall retro print. I just love it so much. I It reminds me of like the 70s and I just think it is so beautiful and it's really nicely constructed. I believe it's home sewn so someone sewed this on their sewing machine but it's just so nicely constructed and I don't have a rectangle table to have this on. We have a round table for our kitchen table but I just feel like this would be so beautiful if you were, you know, hosting Thanksgiving or something. It would be a beautiful Thanksgiving tablescape or even just a fall dinner party. It would be so amazing. So I don't know. I don't know if I can give it up. Here is a Chico's poncho. It's new with tags. And Chico's is another one like Ann Taylor and Talbot's and all of that that we will occasionally pick up, but not always. For me, the rules on Chico is that it neither has to be new with tags or a really good size in like a substantial piece or something kind of funky. So those are kind of things that I'm looking for in Chico's. I don't want just like plain pants or plain, you know, tops or whatever. I want something kind of a little bit different, things like that. But I thought this was really pretty and it was new tags. Okay, so here we have just a vintage dress and I think this is homemade. It doesn't have any tags or anything and it's got this, these beautiful sleeves. Like you can see, they are kind of this drop sleeve. They are so gorgeous. And I picked this up because I have been having pretty good luck selling some vintage items on eBay recently. And I just think that this is so, so pretty, so unique. So I feel like this had to be, you know, going home with me. I couldn't just leave it in the bin. So that's, you know, why I picked it up. So here we have a 100% silk scarf. And I originally looked at it because I thought it looked like designer with these like belts on here or harnesses, I guess. I'm not really sure what they are, if they're harnesses or belts or both. I don't really know. Anyway, I thought it looked like a designer. And when I looked at the tag, it said 100% silk. And recently, I sold just a plain blue 100% silk square scarf for $10. And I figured that, you know, this was lightweight enough. And again, I was thinking, you know, I want to get a certain number of items and I'm on a limited time crunch. So I'm trying to pick up as many things as I can that I know can sell. So this was one of those items that I figured, you know, it's just a tiny little thing. It'll take me just a couple minutes to list. I'll pick it up and sell it. Here is a dress and it's by the brand Carve Designs, which I've never heard of. I assume it's like a boutique sort of brand, but the reason I picked it up was it was new tags and the price on it is $110. So I figured with a price like that, I could get at least $20 for it. So I am excited to sell this. It feels really nice. It's kind of like a flannel fabric so I am excited to see how this does it just is really nice and again I couldn't leave it in the bins because it's new tags and it's in such great condition here we have a new brand for you to be on the lookout for it's called Wallace and Barnes and when I was looking up comps a lot of people had the word J Crew in the title so I assume it's affiliated somehow I haven't quite figured that out yet 
You know, when I'm doing comps, I'm doing just a real quick search just to see how many are listed, how many are sold, and how much they sold for. I'm not like doing a deep dive while I'm at the bins. I'm trying to move quickly, you know. And so this had a really good sell through rate and they seem to be selling for at least $30. So you'll want to look at that if you see it out, out in the wild. And then here we have a Vineyard Vines baby dress. And I thought this was so cute. And I was looking at a lot of the baby clothes, you know, as I was waiting for more bins to come out. And I picked up a lot of it. It's kind of, I think that's going to be a bad thing. Now that I'm going back to the bins, I think our baby is going to have a lot of clothes. So I thought this was cute, but I think I'll sell it. I think it should sell for like $15 or so. Same with this one. This one is baby Bowden and it even had the little diaper cover still with it, which like, whoa, that's crazy. That is like a bins first. I'm, I'm positive. But this reminded me of like Princess Charlotte and kind of the things that she wears. So I think that this should do well because you know, it's kind of in style right now for babies. Did you know that there are baby trends? There are. And speaking of baby trends, these are some Hannah Anderson PJs. I picked these up because people who like Hannah Anderson, like love Hannah Anderson. And I figure PJs, you know, it doesn't really matter if they're not in the best condition, which these aren't really, they're kind of pilly. But I figure that, you know, people are really buying it more for the material rather than the condition. So We'll see how these do. Okay, so here we have a Lucky Brand t-shirt. And like we said earlier, I pick up a lot of Lucky Brand tops. And I thought this one had a really interesting print. So we'll see how this one does. I think it should get like $15 or so. So I pick up most Lucky Brand that I see in the t-shirts and things like that. And honestly, we have sold what feels like a 100 of them. Like every week we sell at least one. So that's definitely a bread and butter and kind of a backbone of our, <laughs> of our closet and our store, but not, you know, the real money makers, I would say. Here I have a pair of Current Elliott jeans. I don't think that they're supposed to be distressed like this. They're the fling jean, but I figure that, you know, someone out there might want them distressed. And I think that this distressing looks pretty good. It doesn't look like, you know, terrible. So I think these should still sell. We'll see how they do. Current Elliott is a pretty good brand of jeans. I don't think I've sold any, I think I maybe only sold one pair of shorts by Current Elliott and they sold pretty quickly. So I'm excited to see how these jeans do. Here we have another bread and butter item. It's Polo by Ralph Lauren. This is on long sleeve polo and this is a size XXL, which is a great size. And I'm excited to see how this does because I feel like this is not something that I see very often, the long sleeve polo. And I feel like people who are into long sleeve polos are like into long sleeve polos, you know what I mean? So they will be looking for them on eBay, trying to find them. And it's in black, so, you know, it goes with everything. I just think that's going to be a really quick sell. Here we have a Michael by Michael Kors top. And the reason I picked this up is I thought it looked just so pretty. And I was thinking about, you know, wanting to get a certain number of items. And I have sold Michael by Michael Kors before for about $15. So I think I can get that much for this because it's in such nice condition. And I see a lot of other people on you know, reselling platforms selling Michael Kors. They have it listed for a lot higher, but I tend to list mine kind of low because I see it all the time at TJ Maxx. That's what they're pricing theirs at. So I figure I'm not going to get more on eBay than like TJ Maxx is getting up the road from me. So that's just my thought process on it. Let me know if that's what you think down in the comments. Here we have a pair of BDG jeans. They are the AY jean. I picked these up. I often will look at BDG jeans to see if they are the current trend. These are definitely the current trend. I feel like I see a lot of like teens like acting like they're grunge, like wearing these and being like, you know, super grunge 90s. So I think that these should do pretty well. It didn't seem like there were that many listed, but the ones that were listed were listed pretty high. The solds were definitely lower, but I figure I can price kind of at the sold price and, you know, underprice all these people who haven't listed for much higher and sell mine pretty quick. Here is the mistake of the day. So this is a bra by the brand Auden, which is the brand of bras sold by Target. It's their in-house brand. And I thought it was Victoria's Secret. I don't know what possessed me to think that this was Victoria's Secret. I didn't even look at the tag. I just saw that it was a pink tag, which Kang told me that it's not even pink. It's, pink. it's like white that has been in a wash with maybe a pink item. I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I just, 
I kept thinking to myself, I'm so out of practice being at the bins. Like I just am moving slowly. I, you know, not paying attention, whatever. And then I come home and there it is. Like would have been so great. Like it would have been worth probably like $25 if it was Victoria's Secret, but it's not worth much. Target. I mean, it. they only sell for $25 at Target. We'll get five. Maybe Bummer. ten. Bummer. Or maybe we'll read. <laughs> maybe. Here I have a pair of cargo pants by the brand Redhead. And we like picking up Redhead items. It's, you know, mostly like a hiking, camping, hunting brand. And it doesn't sell for a whole lot. But it does sell pretty quickly for us. And I've sold cargo shorts by them. But cargo pants are definitely worth more. So... I think I can get a good amount for these and they should be good for fall and winter as people, you know, want the pants for hiking rather than the shorts or, you know, whatever things they need cargo pants for. You know, when Extra you just pockets. need lots and lots of pockets for all your, you know, accoutrements yeah. you need to be carrying around. Okay, and lastly, I have this tea collection. It's a little romper and I think it is so adorable. I've picked this brand up before. It, you know, has organic cotton and they are really well made so i am excited to see how this will do i think it should sell for about ten dollars but it was so light and i was really just going through the stuff to kind of find things for my own baby but i decided to list a couple of the baby things that i found because honestly we're a little bit overrun so only the best of the best is saved for our daughter so anyway you would probably do the same too right yeah. Let us know down in the comments if you also have a problem buying too many clothes for your children when you're at the bins because it's just so cheap and you're like there and you're thinking about them and it, just like all this stuff ends up in your cart. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That helps YouTube show it to more people. And if you aren't subscribed, you should consider subscribing because we are going to be posting an update video about this haul. So hauls are great, but it doesn't give you quite the same amount of information as did these items actually sell? You know, how much did they sell for all of that? We're just giving you our best estimation at this point. But the cold hard facts are so much better. So you'll want to stay tuned for that. And you want to subscribe so you don't miss it. 90 days later, hopefully we'll have sold 100% of these things. So keep up with us. We'll see you um, in a lot of our other What's Sold videos. But hopefully you come back for that update as well. We'll see you later. Bye. you got it. You smacked him. <laughs> I'm sorry.